Welcome to Taormina, the jewel of Sicily and the hilltop town on the island's eastern coast. Taormina is located a 45-minute drive from the port of Messina and sits near Mount Etna, one of the most dangerous active volcanoes in Europe. Due to its stunning beauty and a wide range of things to offer, Taormina is a frequent stop in Mediterranean cruise itineraries and one of the most popular shore excursions from the port of Messina. Cruise ships usually dock at Messina Cruise Port, from where you can get to Taormina by train, bus, car or on a shore excursion. Messina Central Station is located a 10-minute walk from the cruise terminal and trains to Taormina leave once or twice per hour. The ride can take from 30 minutes to 1 hour, depending on the train itinerary. In Taormina, you should get off at Taormina Giardini Naxos train station. The station is located at the foot of the hill and to get to Taormina's old town, you should take a local minibus called Linea Verde that stops in front of the station. A bus ride to Taormina's historic center takes about 10 to 15 minutes and the bus ticket costs 1 euro 10. The minibus will drop you off at Piazza San Pancrazio, which is in front of the entrance to the main street Corso Umberto. Alternatively, you can take a taxi from the train station to Taormina Old Town and it will cost you around 15 to 20 euros per vehicle one way. Your cruise ship may also anchor in the Bay of Giardini Naxos, located a 20-minute drive from Taormina. In that case, passengers will be transferred by tender boats to Giardini Naxos Seaside Resort, from where they can take a bus, hop on hop of bus or taxi to Taormina. You can read all about Taormina and Messina cruise ports in detail in the links I'll leave you in the description of this video. And now, let's check out the 10 best things to do in Taormina. Number 1. Corso Umberto Corso Umberto is the main street in Taormina and you can't miss it as it runs through the heart of the old town. Besides a wide range of luxury boutiques, clothes, jewelry and souvenir shops, here you'll find gelaterias, bars, restaurants, as well as the two main squares, Piazza Duomo and Piazza 9th Aprile. Corso Umberto is around 800 meters long and it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to walk the whole length. Here you also find banks, pharmacies, ATMs, a post office and other small businesses. While walking this street, Get your camera ready as you'll want to capture every corner of it. Number 2. Piazza 9th Aprile This vast square intersects Corso Umberto and offers the most spectacular views of the coast. A huge panoramic terrace features black and white marble checkboard paving and is surrounded by two small historic churches, the Church of San Giuseppe and the Church of St. Augustine. There are a few benches to sit and relax, as well as a few bars and restaurants. From here, you can admire the stunning views of Etna Volcano and Giardini Naxos Bay. Number 3. Duomo di Taormina A 5-minute walk from Piazza 9th Aprile along Corso Umberto, you'll reach Taormina Cathedral. Also known as Duomo di Taormina, this medieval church was originally built in the 13th century but has been reconstructed several times throughout history. The church dominates Piazza Duomo, a small square with the 17th century Fontana di Piazza Duomo in the center. The fountain was built in marble and features mythological creatures and the city's coat of arms. Number 4. Villa Comunale Not far from Corso Umberto, the perfectly maintained Villa Comunale is a perfect escape from the bustling town center. 
This 19th century English style landscape garden once belonged to a rich Englishwoman, Queen Victoria's cousin Lady Florence, who was passionate about birds and decided to build aviaries and nesting sites in this place. Today, visitors can admire the picturesque aviary structures set among tropical and exotic plants and trees. Villa Comunale is another great spot offering breathtaking views of the coast and has a playground for kids. The gardens are partially wheelchair friendly and access is free. Number 5. Teatro Antico Less than a 10-minute walk slightly uphill from Villa Comunale, you can visit the remains of the Greco-Roman theater dating from the 3rd century BC. The theater is known for magnificent views of the coast and the city, and there is a small exhibition at the entrance so you can learn about the history of the site. Today, the theater hosts entertainment events, such as theater performances and concerts, with a seating capacity of 5,000 people. The entrance ticket costs 10 euros and is absolutely worth every cent. Number 6. Chiesa Madonna della Rocca This unique sanctuary is located on top of the hill towering over Taormina, approximately a 20-minute walk from Teatro Antico. You can either take a taxi or go on foot if you don't mind walking. If you decide to walk as I did, be ready to handle over 300 steps to the top. The path is paved and well marked, however it requires a good physical shape. Once you reach the top, you'll be rewarded with breathtaking views of Taormina. The Church of Madonna della Rocca was built into a rock and dates from the 17th century. You can enter inside and admire its unique interior, and if you go behind it, you'll be blown away by the stunning panorama of Castelmola village. Number 7. Isola Bella Isola Bella is a small rocky island located at the foot of Taormina, boasting a lovely pebble beach with crystal clear waters. This beautiful nature reserve is connected to the beach via a narrow path and is surrounded by sea caves that you can explore by boat. The tiny island is home to exotic and tropical plants, several species of birds and lizards, as well as a small art museum and the Nature Museum of Isola Bella. Popular tours and activities in summer include snorkeling, sailing and boating. To get to Isola Bella, you can walk 30 minutes from Taormina Old Town, take a bus, taxi or a cable car. Cable car top station is located only a 5 minute walk from Piazza San Pacrazio bus stop. A one way ticket costs 3 euros and the round trip is 6 euros. The cable car runs every 15 minutes and the ride takes only 5 minutes. Once you're at the bottom, you can reach Isola Bella and the beach in just 10 minutes. Number 8. Castel Mola Castel Mola is a charming village located around 5 kilometers from Taormina Old Town. This charming village is renowned for its almond vine and sweeping panoramic views of Taormina and the entire coast. You can explore its winding streets and historic churches, taste Sicilian cuisine and visit the ruins of the 10th century Castello di Mola. To get to Castel Mola, you can take a bus or taxi from Piazza San Pancrazio or hike for about 45 minutes. Number 9. Mount Etna Another popular shore excursion is a day trip to the infamous Mount Etna, one of the most dangerous and active volcanoes in Europe that has been erupting for 100,000 years. It's constantly active 
and you can see the fumes coming out of craters at all times. There are hundreds of craters and over 200 lava caves that you can explore in a company of a professional guide. The best way to get to Mount Etna from Taormina is either by car or with a shore excursion. It takes about an hour drive to reach Rifugio Sapienza, where you'll find a large free parking, cafes, shops and tour vendors, where you can book tours to explore the higher altitudes of the volcano. You can take a cable car, book an off-road ride or hike to the top. You can hike on your own until 2500 meters, but if you want to go to 3000, you need a professional guide. Number 10. The Godfather Movie Tour The legendary movie The Godfather was filmed in Sicily in the villages of Savoca and Forza d'Agro, both located near Taormina. If you're a fan of the movie, you can book one of the tours or go there by bus, car or hop on hop of bus. Thank you for watching my video and if you liked it, click on the subscribe button below for more cruise travel content.